Today I'm going to talk about composition. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here. Um, I'm in Teosui Sketches doing another sketch, but this time I'm doing uh, something for a painting. So it's a preliminary sketch. This is a photo I took while I was out walking and it struck me that it would be a good painting, but there are so many things wrong with it. The, um, the composition needs changing. I feel the horse needs to move way closer towards the shed. I don't need that tree poking in the corner. I think the wheelbarrow, the wheel, and all that tarpaulin that's chucked over those bales of hay add nothing for the composition. A, they're ugly. B, uh, the colours would be an absolute distraction. And also, we don't need all them wires in there either. So I'm going to do a sketch. Uh, I thought I'd do it in Teosui Sketches uh, for sort of planning the composition before I start actually painting. I could just wade straight in and painting, but I thought it's quite a complicated subject. I'm going to do a sketch first. So I kind of... I don't normally do that kind of rectangle thing going off there, but I wanted to sort of get the aspect ratio of what the painting would be. And then I'm just using the pencil to sketch in. And straight away, you can see I've started to uh, remove the tarpaulin and just sort of sketch in bales of A. And I'm just sort of doing some squiggly lines and things. So, so far, I mean, I'm not, you can see I'm not too worried about the uh, accuracy of the shapes of the roof line and, and things like that. I'm just um, wanting to get things roughly in the right place, just to see what it looks like as a composition. So I'm not, I'm not messing about with detail or trying to be too accurate or anything, just to uh, get this um, composition set out right. So, so far, I suppose the shed is um, not quite as uh, wide or as long as the photo. And it's using about a third of the um, canvas, which is about the same as the photo, I suppose. That's using a third. I've just compressed it somewhat. And I'm sort of just getting those ills in. I, I toyed with the idea of... Um, leveling them up and then I thought no it's not really um, it is on a hill so let's let's leave that hill in there and I'm not very good at drawing horses I don't do many uh, horses really I've done a, a couple in my life so I thought I would just sort of sketch out some rectangles here just to sort of give me uh, an idea of where I'm uh, going with this horse and then sort of uh, fill it out a little bit and get the detail in and those weird looking leg things on there so at the minute it's not <laughs> looking uh exactly right but it's 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 okay it's this is a sketch it's not meant to be a finished painting i just want to see can you see how i've closed up that gap that was the important thing i didn't want this huge gap between that shed and the horse i wanted them to be a lot closer together. And I guess I've also, I don't, no, I don't, I was going to say I've made the horse bigger, but I don't think I have. It's just that the canvas is smaller. And this app, it's so uh, cool for doing this kind of thing. I've, I've, I think I've got a, a really nice, natural looking um, drawing there. And I'm going to add color to this. Um, I thought we needed that that crate in there. I thought that just sort of fills that little bit of space and ties the two, um, the, the building and the horse. It sort of ties them together with that crate. And then I use the watercolour brush. So I've just used the pencil, go into the watercolour brush, and then I'm just going to start adding some uh, local colour. I created a new layer, put this layer underneath. Well, there we go. I, I started again, actually. So I've just created a new layer, put it underneath the sketch layer and just start picking colours off the swatch and uh, adding them in. And I really like that kind of um, the way Teosui sketches every now and again, 
just adds a great big blob to your sketch. And I've left that one in. And I get quite a few of those. And uh, sometimes I, I, I delete them. I don't think they're right, right there and there. And then other times I'll leave them in. I think they look look okay like that one. So I'm just sort of adding local colour just to get an idea of a palette because uh, if, if you've been following me, you'll know I've been doing all these sort of bright autumn colours and yellows and oranges. And now you can see the the weather is changing. We're coming out of autumn. We're moving into winter. Everything's a lot more grey. And I wanted to try and uh, capture that. I, I think I fail a little bit with the hay. Uh, I make that a bit too yellow when I start to put the colour in that. But this is a sketch for a painting, which um, I've I've before I did the voiceover to this video, I'd done the sketch, and then I did I went straight in and did the painting as well. So I've already done the painting, and uh, that will be out on the next video. So this is coming out on Friday. Uh, if you're watching this on the day it comes out, it's a Friday. On the Sunday, you can see the uh, painting I produce from uh, this layout. I just wanted to see if it would work because I don't think the photograph works at all. Uh, can you see what I mean about that yellow? It's just a bit too in your face and too bright on this sketch. So um, I will definitely do something about that in the painting, but I'm going to leave it in the sketch. I, I quite like the fact it is colourful, even though it is a, a sort of late autumn winter scene. I think that works way better than trying to do the tarpaulin and putting that tree in on the right. So what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say to you guys here is, you know, just use a photo as a reference. Just don't try and copy it. That's not what it's about. You're just using it to um, spot your imagination, I suppose, and and give you an idea of something you want to paint. Then take that photo and work with it and paint uh, what you've got in your head. I had a, a sort of a, I could see this painting or this sketch finished before I even started. I just wanted to uh, make sure it works. Usually if I can see it before I start, it does work. But don't just copy a photo blindly. You might as well just take the photo. So, you know, you can add trees. I, I've not added anything to this other than I suppose the A, instead of it being covered, you can now see the hay, but the A was there. So I'm not really added it. So sign that there. This, uh, this Teosui sketches is great. You get such realistic, natural looking sketches. I'm, I'm glad I've switched to this and it's, it's really simple to use. I like it a lot. Um, great little app. So there we go. That is it. That is my sketch showing you how to um, change the composition of a photograph. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.